We've got a labeler, a dyslexic, and a Russian walking to a bar. <laughs> Welcome to Cruising Alba. I'm Marina and this is Myos. Two years ago we bought a 62-foot narrowboat Alba and moved on board. We travelled the Grand Union Canal, cruised in London for a year, left after the first lockdown, completed the narrow Oxford Canal, spent the last summer on the Thames and now we are exploring the Kennet and Avon Canal. We had some hairy moments leaving the Thames, witnessed winter wonderland and a frozen canal, cruised across two aqueducts, broke through ice, made it to Bath and turned around because we ran out of gas. Saturday is my least favourite day because Saturday is a day of boat jobs and manual labour and it's all pretty uninspiring. I enjoy filming so I'm going to film my most boring part of the weekend and I'm going to really enjoy that bit. We need to move the boat today and get water. So the car is currently where we are now. Um, so the best way to do all of the jobs today is to go get to the supermarket first, stock up on food with the car, come back here and then move the boat. time of year but also this time of year the trees look really psychedelic they're sort of like silhouettes against the sky um, look awesome and there's like a couple of weeks where they all just start bursting you know there's no leaves and then pff, 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 sort of tree by tree I've been letting the fire go out accidentally yeah we've been doing that too yeah, I mean, over winter there was no way I would let that fire go out. But now it's got a bit warmer, it just, um, it loses, it doesn't have as much of my attention. So then, um, yeah, then I notice that, oh crap, the fire's gone out and I'm going to start it again. But the uh, negative consequences are so minimal. And just over the year, you're like, okay, it's slightly inconvenient. Yeah. That's all. So are you ready for the song? I'm ready for the song. So today is the day we hit 1 million views on YouTube overall. And to celebrate that, we are going to listen to this song. Suddenly, I got 1 million views. Yeah. Well done. Tune! Woohoo! Well, 
No, I don't. Yes, uh, yeah, it's got a lot to do. So you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Two weeks makes such a difference. On the way here, the last time we filled up with water, the canal was frozen. It was about an inch thick ice and I had to manually try and break it. And now it's like spring. It's crazy. So much change. We actually went up that tower to fully. Hello, 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 Leo. Now I'm running out of soul. Sugar. I wonder you got a pure heart Kind of honesty that will always stay Don't ever let him bring you down What a terrible thing to say Fingers out of sight. Hello, hello, hello. Our new LED lights just arrived, um, so we're changing them now. They're amazing, they're USB, so they won't need to be plugged into 240 volts anymore. Um, also, they come with an app, so uh, we could set them on timer, which is fantastic. And these are black rather than white. You know, uh, the old lights were on a white background. Yeah. These are black. We've got so many wrong. We've got a labeler, a dyslexic. And a Russian walking to a bar. <laughs> Guess what we came up with? Corinda's my favourite. Does it have to be this hard? Oh, yes, finally. Is this what we've got? Oh, it's cooking. another frozen morning oh, I love these contrasting days it's winter in the morning and spring in the afternoon amazing
early is it? Uh, five to nine. This is probably the earliest walk we've ever been on. <laughs> we've been outside for like two hours. Come on, give you more cuddles. Come on. Yeah, come on, cuddles. More cuddles. Bye bye. Someone is swimming by the weir just down below. It's really bizarre. We had them screaming and now we see them. Because it's cold, not because they were drowning and no. we're just standing here watching no, them. No, of course not. I wouldn't want to be in there. It looks absolutely freezing. It looks invigorating. I would go in if it wasn't a weir. There's wild garlic growing now. It's tiny. It needs another week or so. And we can eat it. Wow, the floor is covered in wild garlic. This one is so aggressive. Don't fight. Our hoof is broken. We don't know what's wrong with it. We thought um, we just need to clean the filters and we've done that. I'm about to do yoga, but the floor is it's not the cleanest, but there is not much I can do. So just ignore it. The same as I'm doing. <laughs> just made fresh bread so I'm gonna have a freshly baked warm bread for breakfast How long does it take to blow up? I don't know, I'm timing it. Are you this time? Yeah, it takes ages. The <laughs> hardest thing about paddleboarding is blowing it up. How long did it take to blow up? 15 minutes. So we're gonna launch it from this middle bit where there's no windows. What did I say? Just do it. We're bringing litter pickers with us in a bag.
was a lot of fun, but my feet are so soaked. My feet are the coldest, so that's why I had to come back. Yeah. Are no, you gonna go again? Uh, maybe later, not now. today um we're fixing our wood chest the it's come off its hinges from excessive wooding We had a field boat coming over yesterday, which was a total luxury, and we don't need to go anywhere. Um, but I need to stock up the heat logs in the chest to put them away. for lunch? Vegan sandwich. Not really. No. It's pastrami, chorizo, ham, cheese, <laughs> caramelised onion hummus and a little bit of your salad that I stole. Oh there's another boat. You didn't eat like a little monkey. <laughs> or is it the cauliflower? Hold on. Let me eat the cauliflower. I can eat cauliflowers. Listen. It's all annoying. <laughs> all of it. Mmm. I've just had a micro nap and Ma's been banging something outside. And he promised me if he's got something to show me, it's better be worth it. It's probably the best seat out here. Give it a whirl. Yeah, I like it. Really good reading look here in the summer. You've got a back. Because normally you're sitting over there, you don't have a back. All these people running by the boat make me feel that I should be going for a run as well because I haven't been for about five months and I will, just not yet I guess that's a negative of living on a boat if everyone's running around you you can constantly think that you should be doing something that you're not ready for I'm not ready maybe in a month when it gets like a lot warmer and lighter, yeah, then I will I had a, a paddle board litter pick earlier and I filled up most of the bin bag Whoa! In one go! Um, no, there's a small white bag in there that I did before, but pretty much half a bin bag. And how, how far did you go? Uh, or about 300 metres that way. Right. Hear the woodpecker. Insane, yeah. Buying this massive flask was such a good idea. Before, when it was really, really cold, we could put the kettle on top of the stove and it will keep it kind of warm, so we use a lot, lot less gas. But the coldest time when we had our stove on like super hot was only for a few weeks, maybe a month. And now it's nowhere near as hot enough for kettle for the kettle to stay hot enough for drinking. It's still going you're gonna still have to put it on the stove and warm up. So. We bought this kettle and uh, we work all day and we drink tea at different times but we drink a lot of tea or any other hot drinks so what we do is now we just fill this um, pot twice a day and we don't need to um, boil the kettle anymore. 
it's great. I feel like, um, obviously it's not been a month yet, but I feel like we're gonna definitely save some money on gas this way. Yeah, got it. I've got the end. Alright, this is as far as it goes here. Okay, we're in. That's the most important thing. It's covered in frost already. <laughs> I will. Yeah, it's all frosty already. If you've been following us on Instagram or Facebook, you already know that we um, created an illustrated version of Alba and put on a sticker. If you haven't seen it yet, this is it. So today I'm sending out a bunch of those to our patrons uh, together with thank you cards um, because it's Sunday and we're going to post office so I'm going to be doing some mailing today. I'm about to cut Mars's hair. It's long overdue. Right, I'm gonna start with the, the biggest. I'm about to cut Mars's tail off. I'm going to do it while it's in ponytail. So let's see what happens. No, I was looking uh, for an elastic band. There's one on your head. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a thick one, so I'm going to do it in stages, okay? No, no, just cut it here. Oh, fine. And now just... <laughs> <laughs> Did you drop on the floor? Put it on the floor. I said, don't let go of it. We don't let go of it. You want to keep it? You, you, you can have it. <laughs> oh, it looks so perfect. <laughs> really fluffy as well. Really soft. It's I like know. a makeup brush. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I can powder your nose. <laughs> I should have cut it while it was down, not up. That's fine. That's why it looks like this. Should I take it out? Yeah. Yeah, it looks as bad as it did before. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Go! Thank you so much for watching, we love you all. Mountains of gratitude to those who watch our videos every week, for every like and comment, to those who share our videos with your friends, those who send us PayPal donations and especially to our patrons for continued support that make these weekly videos possible in this incredibly busy world. If you would like to see the next episode today, join us live watch Captain's Vlogs, Supplemental, and receive an illustrated sticker of Alba, join us on Patreon. Thanks guys, see you in the next one!